besties welcome back to down for glam it's your girl Gigi and we are back with another pretty set of nails or at least I hope you think they're pretty I want to wish everybody a happy Monday whether you are an essential worker and you are out braving the virus or at home keeping yourself away from everyone else to protect people I hope that you're having a great day and thank you no matter what you're doing to help make this pandemic a little more bearable. So what we're gonna do today after we paint these white, and I just wanted to do a basic white nail so that what I'm gonna do on top of it will really stand out without having to do multiple coats. Whew, sorry, I sort of ran out of breath there. And what we're doing now is putting some green polish down on one of the palettes that I made last week, if you recall. If you don't recall, I will put a card up for you right there. You know where to look. And now we're going to put some pink on there as well. I wanted to do pink and green nails, and so that's what we are gonna do. And what I'm gonna do is take a little on each side and then just really make sure that brush is well loaded. And grab the nails and grab the nails <laughs> and we're just going to do some ombre with those colors and we're going to do it in sort of stripey patterns but really just um very informal stripey patterns we're not trying to be exactly stripes just giving you a nice color ombre in swooshy sort of patterns I guess you could say <laughs> I am having a hard time describing the effect that it creates I think it came out super pretty I'm really really happy with the ombres um, and it is okay if your brush starts to get a little muddled to go ahead and just clean it up and then reload it so that you get those um, colors the way that you want them to be and that pinky one was a little more abstracty and messy, but that's kind of what this whole set is about, just being kind of crazy and messy. And I am going to paint these other two nails. One is gonna be the pink color, one is gonna be the green color, and then we are gonna use some glitter in opposites, like on top of this pink one, we are gonna do like a greeny, clear sort of glitter. And on the green one, we're gonna do glitter that matches this pink color. Um, I do accidentally forget to re press record when I did that, but I do show you the, the polishes that I used and they are the Model Ones polishes that are similar to the, the ones that this pink is, the one in the pots. Uh, now what I'm going to do here is just make some stripes. I just wanted to add some stripes on top and we're going to make just little different designs on here with the stripes and then inside, which again I don't show the glitter parts and I'm really sorry about that. And I'm also sorry that I dipped out of frame here a little bit on this one, but you do get a really up close view of these other nails and how swirly and swooshy the ombres are. I really, really am pleased with that effect. And then in some of these little triangles, we're gonna add some little glitter and uh, that correspond with the glitter on the other nails. And that's just gonna give us a really cool little sparkle on each nail. Here we come in with some more lines. I thought I really messed that one up, but I'm pretty happy. I think the black really stands out against the pink and the green, super nice. And I think the pink and green, it's still sort of springtime, right? Summer hasn't actually started yet. So it's good for that transition from spring into summer to do something really bright and super fun. And this pink and this green combination is definitely something you would see out in nature if you were looking at flowers or what have you, maybe, you know, some kind of crazy bug or something, but it's definitely colors you would see out in nature. I know I have seen flowers that color 
This is the glitter that I put on the solid nails, and those are the glitters I used. And now we're just going to top coat. Guys, I'm sorry, I also kind of dip out of frame a little bit with the top coat, and this top coat is Burano. I actually really need to order some new top coat. Let me got, let me know, guys, what are your favorite top coats, please? And I'm sorry, here we go, a little tiny bit out of frame, but you can definitely see where I added some glitter in those triangles to give everything a little bit of a shine. Let me know, would you guys wear this set? Is this something that's right up your alley? Is it a little too bright for you? And if you have any requests that you would like to see me do, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to do any request sets that you would be interested in seeing. And here comes the finished look. Yay! Oh my goodness. I have to say, I am blown away with how cute these came out. I hope you guys feel the same way. We will see you Wednesday for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to smash all my buttons. Mwah! Bye, guys.